aside from you know some drills and training, first real chance to see the guys full 11 v 11 full field. Uh, what were your main takeaways from it? Well, this exercise really is about fitness and getting everybody to be able to play two times 30 minutes is very good after one week. You know, um, uh, you just want to get through it with a good level of intensity. You want to make sure that all the players are healthy and that no one gets hurt in the first week. So it was a it was a fantastic exercise. I, I thought that it was an honest performance from from all the players. Nobody really uh, took it lightly, and, and they weren't disrespectful to the game, which is important. So um, you know we come out of it with a lot, and, and I'm very very pleased. I think tactically, technically. There are things that, that you want to improve, but again, they're tired. They've done two a days. They've trained extremely hard. Um, so everyone got their 60 minutes in. They're good spirits, and a uh, 2-2 two -two draw couldn't have been any better for me. You had mentioned to the guys afterwards that you were happy with how honest they played. Why is that so important, especially so early in the preseason? Well, sometimes, you know, uh, when, when you're a veteran at the professional level and you come into a preseason, you, you, you build up, you know, you build up to that first week. And I think, um, you know, with some changes we've had here, that it's extremely important that everybody comes in willing to work and, and willing to put in an honest day uh, every single day. And then it's the coaching staff's responsibility to take care of their bodies and to make sure that the exercise we're doing are, are monitored so that we're not killing these guys over a long season. Um, I feel really good about the spirit of the team. Uh, and, and that right now is extremely important. I think they're starting to get an understanding of how we want to play. Um, and we'll find out more about the team on, on Tuesday against a, a good MLS team. You guys come in and have to kind of cram studying the way you want to play this whole week. How did you feel they did in this scenario? Again, I, I think that uh, all the new players are, are working very hard, um, very, very positive attitude. They're fitting in really well with the rest of the team. Uh, it's a good spirit. It's fantastic. It's, this is what you want you know, in, in a preseason. Uh, now we just need a little bit of adversity, which I'm sure we're going to get from some MLS opposition. Uh, I thought today even some of the trialists were really good. Um, and it was nice to see, I believe, Ruben, our... 16-year-old from our academy scored a goal today. So um, I, it was overall very good. All the new players, the trialists, the academy players, uh, they're really pushing the veterans and the returning players. So it, it's a good camp so far. Going back to that, speaking of Ruben, going back to the goal, I believe it was down the right side. You had uh, Arturo linking up with Marcus and then Marcus sending across to, to Ruben. How encouraging is it to see that kind of the the the, the current the future and and all that yeah no it's funny i think darnell was involved as well at some point in that play so that sequence on the right hand side with darnell arturo and uh and then marcus with a good finish from ruben you know you'd like to see that multiple times this season so that that made me really happy um as i said marcus is a dynamic player but he's more than what i expected he's not just an athlete who can who can run and jump and and can compete he's he's understands the game well he works defensively extremely well and uh, he's got good feet so it's it's exciting because I think now you know um, it, it's very very difficult to replace a player like Solo Asante it's next to impossible but I think that with the combination of three or four guys that we've brought in uh, I think the team is, is going to be very good you know I'm, I'm really excited about what 2022 holds for us All right now is some short turnaround uh, before facing Houston on Tuesday. What's what's the keys for you as the coaching staff and the players getting them ready for that match? Well, generally, in, when you're playing teams that are on a higher level than you, you don't really have to motivate them very much. The important thing now is that tomorrow they recover, take care of their bodies. Uh, Sunday, we'll start to work a little bit more on what our attack looks like. Um, you know, to Monday and, and Tuesday. Monday, we'll prepare just for the game and, and start thinking about what our game day minus one trainings are like. So um, the next two or three days, it, it's important that they understand that they're going to be playing against a very good team, very, very good players, and they're physically prepared, mentally prepared, and, uh, and we just keep moving forward one day at a time.